Have you ever wondered if you know the real Julius Caesar, beyond the man who met a tragic end on the Ides of March? Buckle up as we delve into the untold stories and uncover the top 10 facts about this iconic figure from ancient Rome. Number 10. Julius Caesar wasn't his full name. It's a common misconception that Julius was his first name and Caesar his last. In reality, his full name was Gaius Julius Caesar. Gaius was his given name, Julius was his family name, and Caesar was a cognomen, a third name in Roman culture that often signified a personal characteristic or family trait. At number 9, we have Caesar's extraordinary feat of being kidnapped by pirates. Yes, you heard it right. In his early 20s, Caesar was captured by pirates while crossing the Aegean Sea. He maintained such an air of authority during his captivity that he even demanded they increase his ransom. Number 8 reveals that Caesar was a man of words. He penned several works of Latin prose, including accounts of his military campaigns. His writings were notable for their straightforward language and lack of traditional rhetorical flourishes, making them easier to read than many other Latin texts. For number seven, did you know that Caesar was not born through a Caesarean section? Despite popular belief, it's unlikely that Caesar was delivered this way. In his time, this operation was only performed when a pregnant woman was dying or had died, as it invariably resulted in her death. Moving on to number six, Caesar was a high priest before he was a military general. At the tender age of 16, he became the Flamen Dialis, the high priest of Jupiter. However, he was stripped of his position when the then dictator of Rome, Sulla, declared him an enemy of the state. Halfway through at number five, Caesar was the first living man to appear on a Roman coin. In a break from tradition, Caesar's own image appeared on coins during his lifetime. This was a significant move as it was a clear departure from the Roman tradition of featuring the likenesses of deities or deceased heroes on their coins. At number four, Caesar changed the calendar. He introduced the Julian calendar in 46 BC, which closely resembles the one we use today. It was a solar-based calendar with a year that averaged 365 and a quarter days. Number three, Caesar may have been epileptic. Historical accounts suggest that he may have suffered from seizures, a common symptom of epilepsy. However, some historians believe these might have been mini strokes. The second spot goes to Caesar's unprecedented act of crossing the Rubicon. This was a daring move that triggered a civil war, leading to the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire. And finally, the top fact about Julius Caesar. Despite being forever associated with the title emperor, Caesar was never an emperor. He was a dictator, but the title of emperor did not exist during his lifetime. It was his adopted heir, Octavian, later known as Augustus, who became the first Roman emperor. There you have it, 10 surprising facts about Julius Caesar that peel back the layers of myth and misconception, revealing the man behind the legend. From a high priest to a prolific writer, a daring general to a revolutionary reformer, Caesar's life was anything but ordinary. His legacy continues to influence our world today, more than 2,000 years after his death.